Aditya Birla Group presents Budget 2015, the Make in India Budget, co-presented by SBI. Development Agenda. Over the last 10 months, a lot has been spoken about Narendra Modi-led government's focus on developing the social sector in India. But what are the ground realities? What are the challenges that rural India is grappling with? Are the schemes working on ground? Hello and welcome. You're watching a special show, Development Agenda Budget 2015. I'm Archana Shukla. To answer some of these gaping questions, we travel deep into the interiors of rural Madhya Pradesh. Over the next half an hour, we bring to you snippets from my experiences there and ground reports on challenges in some of the sectors like malnutrition, healthcare, rural housing and rural sanitation. First up, malnutrition. India is home to 30% of the world's malnourished children under the age of 5. We travel deep into the interiors of rural Madhya Pradesh, often called the malnourishment capital of India, to understand why government schemes are falling short. Kesla, a tribal belt nearly 80 kilometers away from the city of Bhopal a region that saw the launch of the Madhya Pradesh government's ambitious malnourishment project, Shaktiman. A few kilometers further into interior lies Chindapani. A small tribal hamlet where nearly 50% of the children are malnourished. Here, we met one and a half year old Sandesh, who weighs just 7 kgs against the healthy age to weight ratio of 12. I'm Narsi, I'm going to go to the NRC. So, what do you think about the NRC? Yes, it's been fine for a few months. Then, it's been fine for 15 days, and then it's been fine for 8 months. Do you take it to the Anganwadi? Yes, I take it. Do you get the food for the children? They don't eat the food for the children. They don't eat the food for the children. Sandesh is one of the 244 severely underweight children in Kesla, who, if not taken care of, will eventually be pushed to severe acute malnourishment. And it's not just this district. Madhya Pradesh's overall child malnourishment statistics are quite disturbing and shows why Madhya Pradesh also has the worst infant mortality statistics. When he is not sick, Sandesh comes to this Anganwadi center to have his meals. It's one of the 233 Anganwadi centers in Kesla. Out of the 15 children who come to this Anganwadi center to have their meals, at least half of them are malnourished still. This even after the government spending hundreds of crores of rupees under the Integrated Child Development Scheme to provide nourishment through food that they send to these Anganwadi centers. The problem? Either the food comes here late, in the afternoon, children have already eaten one part of their meal, or the quantity that they send across is very minimal. Tackling malnourishment is an issue of national importance, which several schemes under the Department of Women and Child Welfare, as well as the Health Ministry, aim to address. While the schemes are funded by the central government, states are free to pitch in and boost the allocation from their own budgets. For instance, in the current financial year, the central government allocated 18,200 crore rupees to the ICDS program. MP allocated nearly 2,800 for the same. The government also distributes food packets to pregnant and lactating women under its Janani Suraksha program. And of course there is the National Food Security Act under which the central government allocates food grains to states at BPL rates. Schemes are a plenty, but their implementation remains the critical challenge. आप जब गर्भवती थी, तो आपको सरकार से की तरफ से जो आशा वर्कर आती है, उसके हाथ से कुछ खाना कभी मिला है? हाँ, आंगनवाड़ी से पैकेट वगैरह वो मिलता है। आठ दिन में एक बार मिलते तो कहाँ चल पाते उतने? नहीं चल पाता ना इसपे। एक पैकेट कितना दिन चलता था आपको? तीन चार दिन। क्वालिटी सही नहीं है तभी तो कुपुर से दूर नहीं हो रहा है क्वालिटी अगर सही होता तो दूर होता कुछ तो फर्क पड़ता अब अभी हम कई जगह देखते हैं कि आंगनवाड़ी का कहीं कूपन ही नहीं मिला उनको गला भेजना है वो कहीं उधर से गहूं लाके अपना चला रहे हैं लोग है नहीं भाई कहा है आप पूछ सकते हैं उनसे 
वहां से जो मिलता है खाद्यान्न वो भी कई महीने तक नहीं मिलता है तो कैसे होगा वो तो कुछ तो होगा ही बच्चा The state government is, however, confident of tackling malnourishment and claims that some of its schemes are already showing results. We are running a special scheme for Madhya Pradesh, mm. that is Atal Bal Arogya Mission. We have sufficient money, mm. and our the, the finance department is supporting us. My target is uh, is to take state uh, at par with national target. Verifying the government's claims is a tough task. The last available central data on malnourishment dates back to 2007. Madhya Pradesh did its own nutrition survey in 2010, but numbers on the implementation of recent schemes are sketchy, and that perhaps is part of the problem: lack of data and analytics, inadequate monitoring, and the leakages in implementation of government schemes. Can budget 2015 provide some answers? Case line: These children would surely hope so. With camera person Bhaskar Savant and Sunny Paswan, Achna Shukla. The discussion on making health a fundamental right for all citizens in India is back on the table. As the government slowly starts rolling out its national health assurance program, we take a close look at the status of healthcare facilities in rural India. This is an infusion set which has expired, May 2013. Hari Lal is a troubled man. He got his pregnant daughter-in-law for a maternity consultation to this community health center, traveling almost 10 kilometers, only to find the clinic closed. Sarita in her last trimester says she has little option but to travel again for a checkup. Most patients we met here had travelled more than 10 kilometers to seek primary health services. No doctor is not coming here. This health centre in Sihor district perhaps reflects two of the biggest shortcomings plaguing the rural healthcare system: lack of adequate infrastructure and shortage of medical staff. The extra unit in this centre is shut for the last one and a half years since the time the last technician retired and that post has been lying vacant. So even for an accident patient who comes here, here only primary treatment is given, and for a basic facility and a basic test like an X-ray, he has to travel at least 25 to 30 kilometers to the district hospital in Sihor. Since the UPA government's flagship program, National Rural Health Mission was launched in 2005, the government has spent a little over 1 lakh crore rupees in building infrastructure and manpower. However, a look at some national level statistics reveals what a daunting task lies ahead. As of 2014, more than 6300 posts of doctors at PHCs lie vacant. 7300 posts of specialist almost 64% of those sanctioned are also empty Madhya Pradesh's record is much worse however the state government officials that we spoke to remained adamant claiming things were on track if you start with a negative mindset that we have nothing shortage of resources shortage of infrastructure everything is bad nothing will happen so you are saying i tell you officially 98% 98 of our posts are filled of required posts which sanctioned posts. sanctioned posts are filled yes claims which turned out to be hollow on the ground as we continued on our journey through rural madhya pradesh this sprawling community health center in duraha about 20 kilometers from shampur was built a year ago but remains largely underutilized सीओर जिले का सबसे बेस्ट हॉस्पिटल सबसे बेस्ट है और यहाँ पे डॉक्टर्स कितने हैं मैं अकेली हूँ और एक आयुष्य तो यहाँ पर यहाँ पर रिक्वायरमेंट कितने डॉक्टर्स की है रिक्वायरमेंट तो वैसे हमारे पास जो लिस्ट आई है उसमें पाँच छह डॉक्टरों की पोस्ट है तो वो बड़े भी कोई नहीं है It is these inefficiencies which have pushed an estimated 61% of rural patients towards private healthcare providers. These facilities are two to nine times more expensive than government centres and out of reach for most rural households. A concern the Modi government's national health assurance program aims to address by providing universal access to health in form of free drugs, diagnostics, and insurance. 
While the central government is looking to spend nearly $26 billion on the project over the next four years, Madhya Pradesh government says it has already put a similar plan in place. We are one of the few states which provide free drugs, free diagnostics, free diet and free transport. OPD rose by 86% over the last two years okay. because of this program. Once again, ground reality showed a different picture. This time at a sub-health center in Charnal. This is the labor room of this sub-health center where most of the deliveries uh, happen. And if you see most of the equipments have passed their expiry date. This is an infusion set uh, which has passed its expiry last year in October, in January 2015. It's an intrauterine contraceptive device, 2013. This is a mucus extractor. It has passed its expiry in October 2014. A scalp vein set, it has passed its expiry in November 2012. We are told just three days back there was a delivery um, in this very room and in this month there have been a couple of deliveries which the ANM has performed here in this very room on this very table. At present, India's spent on healthcare is a mere 1% of its GDP. That's half of what Sri Lanka spends, one-fourth of China and one-sixth of Thailand's health spends. Even as the Modi government aims to increase health expenditure to 2.5% of GDP by 2017 and integrate the National Health Mission in its bigger plan, we realized money alone won't be the answer. Monitoring the quality of healthcare and ensuring availability of trained manpower is key to making universal healthcare a true success. With camera person Bhaskar Savan, Achna Shukla. Time for a short break. Reports on rural sanitation and housing on the other side. Stay tuned. Aditya Birla Group presents Budget 2015, the Make in India Budget. Co-presented by SBI. Development Agenda.